ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Leslie Sapoko. I'm Prime Minister of the Bengal Kamilia of NGT, uh, debate challenge 2022. Uh, I serve on the Students' Representative Council at NAS, the debate Council for Finance. And today I stand in front of you as the founder, CEO, as well as the principal officer of Deminent Financial, where we believe in 360 degrees financial solutions. Ladies and gentlemen, um, imagine borrowing money in Namibia online seamlessly. Our solutions are customer centric. Encapsulating financial technology made for, for lending 100% Namibian, our amazing website hosts the following financial technology. An online loan calculator, which in real time, plug and play, can calculate your interest loan amount as well as your term of repayment. Your loan application, which is seamless in eight steps, can figure out your basic field of the basic loan application, where you to fill out an application online, where you to borrow online. Ladies and gentlemen, we harness technology by absorbing fintechs as well, which we create products such as payments, pay my bill, which is composed of an automated clearinghouse through innovation and subsidiary of Adumo Online, a payment intermediation service through Bank Vito Capricorn as an e-commerce merchant, which allows clients to repay their loans online through a payment mode. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the core of developing customer-centric digital experiences for Namibians by creating technology such as mobile apps where clients can borrow as well as mobile sites that can create such as products such as preeminent in your pocket. Imagine taking out your phone and borrowing money on your phone and getting a loan advancement in the same day. Our sales process. Our sales process comprises of five simple steps. The client either calculates the interest on their loan, fills out the loan application, therefore following the next step of documentation validation, credit analysis through credit bureaus as well as our portability statuses, deduction processes as well as the disbursement of funds. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we have interest revenues which compose of interest revenue. Let's say Maria borrows money today, her loan will be repaid with an interest. The occurring revenue, Maria is a three month occurring customer, recurring revenue, services revenue charged, from, charged to Maria for using our services, as well as transaction based revenue charging Maria for repaying the loan online. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, our collection comprises out of 62,000 in credit transactions, 13 active users, we are proud to be growing, which we have aggregated to a total percentage of 99%, which we think is a total success for us. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, our roadmap of stakeholders is very important, ladies and gentlemen. To the Ministry of Trade and Industrial Relations, to FIFA for registered assistance. The Namibia Financial Supervisor has collected in Ampisa for lending us, uh, granting us a micro lending license, which our financial analyst said that we are the youngest micro lending license holders in Namibia. The Ministry of Finance through the Executive Director's Office for granting us the April Payment System Solutions, our payroll deduction management service. Real Pay South Africa that allows us to perform deposit transactions, as well as Bank of Namibia through the Financial Intelligence uh, Center for giving us uh, access to the system of Go A and Not for us to comply with anti-money laundering um, processes. Wix Online, which is our mode of communication with our customers through our mobile app, um, mobile website, as well as um, desktop website. And our team comprises out of young students who have expertise in economics, um, accounting and finance, as well as business administration, as well as um, information technology. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, what makes our fintech unique? This is because we harness payment and deduction systems which we can use such as the Go AML to comply with anti-money laundering um, uh, processes, as well as real pay through debit order extraction, April, as I mentioned, through uh, payroll government deduction, as well as Adumo Online, which is an automated clearinghouse that allows us to perform the function of preeminence pay my bill, where the client can repay their loan online, which is one of the first of its kind within the lending space within Namibia. TransUnion as well, which allows us to physically trace the client if they have to default on their loan, as well as blacklist the client, as well as draw credit reports in terms of before dispersing the client's loan amounts. Now this brings us to the new age of the .com of the buffer era. Why do we say so? Because our company operates in all certain regions. Why? Simply because we are on the internet. A client who is in the Rongo region, who is in the Zambezi region, can make use of our services just because of the mobile phone or, or, or a desktop site. Nonetheless, this means that our company can operate all over the globe as long as the client has a mobile phone access our services. Nonetheless, why do we want to work with the Bank of Namibia? For interoperability, for affordable and efficient financial services, standard, um, security standards to protect us against our fraud and operational disruption, and implementation.
asymmetry, data protection, cross-border remittances because we operate with companies that are brought such as South Africa, the USA and other certain countries um, in, um, in the subject, in the common monetary area. Financial system enhancement, which we try to improve our competitiveness, enabling local and foreign investors to contribute to our economy. So, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for listening to our presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Um, sorry for your um, presentation. Um, a very pleasant presentation. Um, the, the, there's a common theme that um, I'm getting from the presentation, and I think um, you're also alluded to access to data. Uh, just something I want to bring up that, um, yes, uh, I think open banking is quite uh, key for most fintech um, uh, operations, and that's something that they must uh, actively looking into. Um, so keep an eye out uh, of, uh, on the bank's uh, position on open banking. It will be um, published uh, sometime this month. So that will provide guidance in terms of you know, the way forward with regards to open banking and issues such as you mentioned that screen scaling of the APIs that we will also pronounce on that. Um, I just wanted to know with this business model and uh, the link to the fintech framework, what exactly it is um, having heard from, from the bank side what the fintech framework intends to, to do. Um, what part of your business um, do, would you like to be able to to the framework? Um, we, we, we like in many models of business which is lend itself to be admitted to the fintech framework. The reason why we want to be admitted to the framework is number one, like you mentioned, um, interoperability, where we want to increase our competitiveness, right? But harnessing it through other financial technology companies. Remember, we meant our slogan 360 degrees. Therefore, there are discussions with other stakeholders in which we want to develop our own technology, right? For instance, if we don't want to use an automated uh, carry contract of innovation, we could develop our own technology. And through the framework, we develop commitments, and they could, or the bank could assist us in creating the technology as well as following the rules and regulations that would be needed into, um, into successful implementing automated sharing house, for instance, for us to enable our clients to repay their loans, not using an intermediary service, but rather directly from, from one client, from the client to our customers. Thank you for a very good presentation. How was your plan and you were convincing on your convincing awareness? Yeah, so um, my question is, um, uh, I think you mentioned something about same day application and same day payment. So, what type of technology do you use to do your credit assessment or analysis? You can make that quick informed decision. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Um, so, the, as, as, as I alluded before, I mentioned that we are fintech, absorbing fintechs when we can develop our own technology. As of right now, when we do our credit analysis, we make use of the credit bureau as stipulated in the micro lending act in which we track a client's um, credit report through TransUnion within the same day. So what happens is you manually go online into the TransUnion portal and then you fill in a, a client's information, let's say Maria, and then you fill in a last name and then it will give you exactly how many loans she has, how many loans she's defaulted on, has she ever been blacklisted, um, where else is she borrowing money from, and so on and so forth. So those are the kind of reports you can draw from TransUnion. Thank you very much for uh, the very informative presentation. I have a question, but if you feel that the response um, is confidential information and you don't want to disclose, please advise uh, to a respective discussion of the one. I wanted to understand the funding part of your business model. How do you fund the loans um, that you give out to your clients? Is it own funds, investor funds, um, or is it raising from deposits from the public? And then obviously the business will grow going forward, how do you intend to, to fund it going forward? Uh, to answer your question, it's not quite a confidential question, for transparency sake and it's being accepted in the framework. Believe it or not, um, Preeminence Financial is founded on a student loan from NASDAQ, way in which I use a non-tuition fee, a startup capital to set up the business as well as the license to Yeah, um, there's just one last one here. Yeah, um, so my, my question was, I, mean, I, I like what you're doing, you're doing things faster, which is what um, our clients want to see. I think if I look at other parts of the world, especially the trend, 
So one thing I wanted to talk to you about was more about the performance of your robots. Do you have a lot of defaults um, by your price pain? Because you know if you have speed or this and that can count the price of quality of the robot one look. Uh, one of the unique value propositions that we make use of the preeminent financial is that we don't deduct the loan and the interest amount of the principal amount of the loan. So what we would do in the future is if you have borrowed a loan from us for instance for 5,000 and you charge an interest rate of 30%, which amounts to 6,500, we would deduct only the 1,500 which is the interest on the loan until the client is able to fully repay the principal and the interest on the loan. Therefore, giving the, the client a customer centric ability in order to repay their loan and therefore increase the efficiency for our business, covering costs as well. Thank you very much.